The play is based on the true story of uh, Alice Arden, who murdered her husband in 1551. And the play is really about the series of plots that she puts together with a hired team of assassins in order to get her husband killed. And we see the plots uh, all going wrong, one after another. And as they go wrong, they become increasingly crazy increasingly desperate and increasingly dangerous. I've been thinking about it a, a bit like a kind of Coen Brothers movie set in the 1590s. There's that same sense of a completely um, bewildering, slipping moral framework with nobody really sure who exactly is in charge of anything at any given moment. It's very, very funny, but it's slapstick with an incredibly dark heart. Um, and there's something about that that feels to me absolutely of, of the present day moment. It's not about kings and queens or nobles, which so many of those plays often are. It really is about um, the, the quality of life on the street in that period, what the texture of their day-to-day -day life was about. It's got this fantastic part for a woman in the middle of it. A, a woman is the driving narrative agent. And to see the combination of all those things in, in one piece seems to me to be tremendously exciting. For me, coming to do a show at the RSE is particularly exciting because the RSE actually gave me my first job as an actor when I was a kid. So I did a production of Spring Awakening uh, at the Barbican actually when I was 12. And um, it was one of the most uh, exciting and happy memories of my childhood. So in a funny sort of way, coming back to do this show feels a bit like coming home and I'm so excited to be doing that.